Hello. Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Why am I using this deck? Uh, this is going to be a general reading for your coming week. So keep in mind that this is going to be a general reading. So not everything may resonate with you. But if it does, let me know in the comments below. Let me know which uh, card resonated with you and how it resonated with you. Because I'm a little nosy, right? I like knowing y'all's business. So um, if it does give you a sense of direction and it is helpful to you, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And yeah, it just helps motivate me to keep these this series going. So yeah, let's just get started with this. I'm going to pull one more row for you, Sagittarius. But uh, yeah, already looking like an interesting week for you guys. Um, I love that. Like, let me just like I don't do this for any of the other zodiac signs, but I love a Sagittarius. Uh, but yeah, let's just <laughs> I love Sagittarius energy. I uh, just so forward. Uh, usually, anyways. So for your first row, Sagittarius, we have the Seven of Swords, the Star, and then the Two of Swords. So when I it's, I said usually because this is kind of like hesitant energy that I feel for you guys, I feel like there's something or someone that you want to take action on. And we'll get some clarifiers, right? We'll see if I'm correct. But from this first row, I'm getting as if it's like there's someone that you want to take action on, right? And it's like I feel like this is like a someone or something, right? Because this could be talking about a career opportunity. This could be talking about um a trip or whatever whatever this whatever your star energy is um that is like what you want you take what you want to take your action on so what you want to take your seven swords action on and it's fulfilling right like i feel like you want to have this happen but there's like some kind of doubt happening here right you have the two of swords and this per there's a pairing here but there's like a mistrust because you see that her holding that knife love a neck or namakan deck because it's just so graphic but yeah there's like this knife so what is this knife why is this knife there? Is there someone that doesn't trust the situation? Um, and why don't they trust the situation? Is it because of the information they've seen? Or is it because of their own issues that they need to work on? Shadow work, perhaps? Uh, what's holding you back? What's, hold what's holding you or this person back that you want? Or this, what's, yeah, yeah. What's really, I feel like it is you holding yourself back. Um, yeah, got some clarifiers, 10 of coins. So maybe you guys are being extremely busy or maybe that's been like your excuse for not taking action perhaps is because you've been busy hustling. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, but I also feel like you should hold yourself accountable, Sagittarius, and be like, what could you do more? What, where could you put more effort into? Does like, you know, is like, because this is a thing. I feel like some people get so caught up in saying like, oh, I have work, I have work, I have work. But you can make time for what it is that you want to actually connect with to you can make time for that passion you can make time for that person if you actually want to you'll have to let go of some things right you may have to move things around eight of wands but you can make it work and i feel like it's worth this investment it's worth taking action on this it's worth taking that risk um and to well i like have like this hesitation because it's like i want to push you into I don't want to push you to doing anything, right? But I want to motivate you into taking action, but I don't want you to take action while holding this knife because that could set up for failure. Because what happens when this other person that you're kissing looks over and is like, why are you holding that knife? What happens when you commit to this career path or this project and halfway through because you just were doubting it, when things get tough, you're doubting it and then you just leave, right? I don't want you to be going into taking action with doubt, basically. I don't want you to be holding this knife. That This knife is what I'm looking at and what's giving me a red flag for you, Sagittarius. I feel like if you, you need to let that go, um, let go whatever, um, yeah, let go of it because it's like, when you do take action on this, uh, it's going to be fulfilling. You have the sun card, it's the happiest card, it's the celebration card, right? It's going to, like, this is, meant to be i don't want to well maybe i don't want to say it's meant to be because you will make the choice sagittarius of whether you allow this to happen or not but it is up to you to take action it is up to you to set your intention and to go forward with it and to reach up for that star right it can be scary but you know i feel like it's worth the risk and it's funny because your queen of swords the queen is uh not queen of swords uh the seven of swords is diagonal 
yeah, diagonal with the, your Ace of Cups in your second row. So I definitely feel like this is a connection that you kind of want to take a leap of faith into. Going into the, and it's also diagonal with the Queen of Wands, where it's kind of like a partnership. Maybe you want to work with this person. Maybe this is like a business endeavor. Maybe you want to like shoot your shot with somebody, but you're scared to shoot your shot because you don't know how you'll be received. Or in romantic sense, or in, yeah, like I feel like there's something you're just holding yourself back from that would be really fulfilling passionately or emotionally for you. Getting into your second row, we have the Knave of Swords. This is, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Knave of Swords, the Ace of the Cups, and the Six of Cups. So it's almost as if like uh, you're giving up power. You're giving up power or you're trying to go about it in like a mischievous way. Maybe you are taking action on it, but you're taking action on it in very subtle ways so that it's not being received. Because when you have the Knave of Swords, the Knave of Swords is being very suspicious, is being sneaky about it. You know, this person, this thief could just ask for whatever's on the mule, but instead they'd rather go about stealing it. Um, again, not Necronomicon, so it's not in the literal sense of where you're stealing something, but it's like a, you're doing unnecessary steps because you don't want to be seen. You don't want it to be known that you're hungry. Does that make sense? You don't want to be known that you're hungry. Like, you don't want other people to know that you're hungry or other people to know that you're a human and you feel things too or you have feelings or, like, you have drive and you want to commit to, like, a path but, like, you don't want to, people to see it. And it's okay to have it be seen, right? It's okay for people to see your Ace of Cups, to see what drives you, to hear what drives you, to feel what drives you, to feel what you're feeling. Your feelings are valid. Your existence is valid, Sagittarius. And I feel like a lot of your issue are, is your own excuses and you giving up your power, in a sense. Six of Cups. I pulled some clarifiers for y'all. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like this is, again, just excuses. I feel like this is the, the swords are like the barriers that you hold yourself to so you keep stuck. And I'm gonna just say stuck Sagittarius, I'm gonna be blunt with you. <laughs> I feel as if like, maybe not necessarily stuck, but you're not going as fast as you know you could. You're not, you know you're not living up to your potential. I know you know this because you have the High Priestess card inverted. You know this with the four of, uh, four of uh, pentacles. You know this, like you know what you need to do. You know that you, um, like how you're acting almost it's like the self-awareness of being like yeah i know i'm doing this but you don't want to stop so is it really like again i can't help but go back to this knife reference of where it's like why do you feel inclined to this like why are you feeling your feelings that's what i would ask yourself sagittarius if i had this spread i'd be like why am i feeling this why am i reacting this way why am i doing this why am i giving up my power why am i having why do i feel like i don't why do i feel like I can't feel safe if other people know my true feelings or know that I'm actually hungry or whatever. It's interesting. Do you feel like your head's going to get chopped off? Ten of Swords getting into your last row. Do you feel like you're going to, like, are you scared of being seen and really committing and voicing that you're human or committing to this passion project or committing to something? And, and potentially ending a cycle or just putting yourself up on the chopping block and being afraid of being her. And that's why you're carrying this knife because you don't want to be, you don't want to be beheaded, right? Necronomicon beautifully said with imagery alone, you don't want to be beheaded. So that's why you bring that knife. You've seen some shit, right? Can I say, mm? I don't say anymore. You've seen some stuff. You have the Eight of Swords, like, you've, wa you've seen some stuff, you've been hurt in the past. So this is what, yeah, okay, this is what it's telling me, Sagittarius, and again, I'm gonna be blunt with you here, because I feel like you need this, you need that tough love moment, and I, you know, I said it at the beginning, Sagittarius, I said I love you, it's almost as if, like, <laughs> it's almost as if I knew I was gonna be aggressive with y'all. But it, this is telling me a story now where it's like, you're carrying this knife around, because, and we get into the diagonal, Again, like you're carrying this knife around because you were hurt in the past on something, right? You were hurt in the past. You're carrying something from your past the way you were just like holding past trauma. You haven't done your shadow work or you just need to start doing some shadow work in this because maybe something's bringing it forward for you to have this emotion. Um, because you maybe have been left out to dry. You've been left out to get beheaded, right? Or you just seen some stuff, right? The Eight of Swords, like this shows heavily to me of where it's just like, you're referencing other past experiences and 
that's why you feel like you need to carry this knife still. You're holding on to past energy and treating your current energy and your future energy in the same kind of vibration. Does that make sense? So it's not only, and I'm not only just saying like you're using your past and using that as an excuse to not um, let your cup overflow again with this new connection, with the star, you're, um, you're not choosing to reach the star because of a past connection, but it's like, you also are not giving you credit where credit's due in that um where you've developed in your life since you've pa experienced those past things since you've seen those past things um your energy is at a completely different level from back then so it's like why are you still treating your situation it's it would be like doing the same type of um doing the same mechanics in a video game that you did for level one that you're now doing for level 22 it's not realistic you the things get as you develop things you have to go through things in a different way um you have to have a new approach yeah like this is such a this is such a time for you i feel like this is such a test for you this is a test for you to see if you're going to break a cycle that you probably have gone through for a while now in sagittarius and because we have the judgment card the hierophant and this uh the uh hello the seven of coins so this is a cycle and this is going to be a are you going to commit to it are you going to allow judgment day to come and learn from it with the hierophant energy and elevate yourself are you going to hold yourself accountable sagittarius or are you going to just continue being the seven of coins in this aspect, it's more of a like where you're just sitting there, expecting things to come to you, expecting things to grow, or just expecting things to not change, or expecting things to change while you're just sitting there. Like, you're not going to get new crops. Like, I'm sorry, if you've been planting, if you've been planting, what have you been planting? If you've been planting K all season, and now all of a sudden you're deciding to get a craving for strawberries, you sitting here is not going to give you strawberries. Stop waiting for strawberries and plant those strawberries. <laughs> You know, I almost, it's, <laughs> it's, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's very straightforward for you. You need to like own your fiery energy, Sagittarius. Why this past thing, you lost your spark a little bit. I challenge you to where you could reignite your spark. Cardinal card. Yeah, there's something out of balance spiritually. You're not seeing something Spirit's trying to give you. You're not receiving a blessing in your life. You're not trusting yourself, the spider card. You're not trusting in the we uh, the web you weave. So now you have this insecurity and you're still functioning off this insecurity and you're still seeing everything through this insecurity, through this hurt. Um, platypus, stop complaining, stop being a victim, right? Your life could be so much worse than what it is. And I know that sounds dismissive, but it's like a this is the card of being like spirits actively trying to give you blessings and you're not seeing them what i use the word blessings right and i pulled this card for you you're not seeing the blessing that's being brought forward in your life because of past hurt sagittarius that's what i feel for you nicole mm, no you don't want this card do you want this card though yeah we want this card balance magpie 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 <laughs> Again, like another balance card for you. So two different balance cards and birds. So it's, in yeah, like this is such a time of like where you Sagittarius need to honor your feelings and to also look inwardly. Look inwardly, honor, but honor your feelings and take action on what it is that you're feeling. Be willing to give yourself the benefit of the doubt and stop looking in the past. Back card and the front card. Stop looking in the past. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Can we also talk about how I pulled the cardinal moon with the card cardinal card, right? <laughs> I love it. Be bold and make the first move. Have faith in your dreams. Maybe some of you, you don't take action because you feel like it's not going to work out. You feel like you know the story already, so you don't take action. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Stop basing your decision. Stop not having faith in your dreams because of your past, Sagittarius. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna pull one more card for you guys, uh, Oracle card from the universe, but yeah, that's the reading that I, that's the overall, okay, cards that I have for you guys. We pulled three, Divine Consciousness, Abundance, and Reflection. Yeah, I feel like this is such a, t like, for what I'm seeing this as, this is such a time for you to look inwardly, to reflect, and to think of the bigger picture, to think of 
when I think of divine consciousness, I feel like this is more of a, I associate it with giving people the benefit of the doubt or seeing the value in people and seeing things from a more enlightened perspective, I guess is really what I'm trying to say. And it's when you open yourself up and when you start allowing yourself to reflect on things and to open yourself up to that divine consciousness where you just have such a sense of humanity, I feel like, with yourself and everyone and everything around you. That is when you're going to surround yourself in that abundance, Sagittarius. So, it's reading I have for you. Sorry I was a little bit rough with you, Sagittarius, but I know you can handle it. Um, I love you so much. I'll connect with you next week. Bye.